morning. Welcome to build day 25, I do believe. Just getting out here, getting the blow-ups plugged in. And it looks like I've got a snarl to fix up there. Things are not sitting exactly right. Uh, but the haunt so far, and I'm just giving it a good walkthrough since we had that wind last night. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. A lot of leaves and things along that line need to be cleaned up, swept up, and picked up. Uh, Morgan said she'll come out and do that later today. But, uh, main goal for today is going to be that pirate display. Getting it done and then getting moved over into the gypsy and chain haul. <coughs> so, I'm not sure how far we're going to get. I would like to get all three displays done. But whether we get them done or not, that's another story. Uh, so Ann and I and Kaylee are getting ready to run an errand. Morgan's birthday is coming up on, at the, toward the end of the month. October 22nd to be exact. And we are going to head out and do a little bit of uh, birthday shopping for us. In fact, I hear a Kaylee. They're coming out to get in the truck. Yes, they are. She's all hyper. She beat Mama out here. But we're going to go run our errands. Uh, breakfast of the day. Let's see. Breakfast of the day. Now that sounds good. A nice foot-long hot dog with some grilled onions, shredded cheese. And a good stout glass of Guinness to wash it down with. There you go, you got that going. We'll get you more footage in a bit. Mom is hiding around the corner. Katie's giving her away. Because she knows I have the camera running. Set dress is trying to stay off camera. But Katie gave her away. <laughs> Look at that. Anyway, guys, we'll see you later segment. We'll give you some updates. Well, not too bad. We got the pirate done, and we got a couple other tubs emptied out. We had several tubs of Mishkabibble stuff. It went, in, it went into four or five displays, but that was one of them that was in one of the tubs. And put one of those little skeletal flamingos in here. Swan's been out getting masks and stuff on. So I had to hang the steer's head there. I don't know if I'm going to move Morgan's tombstone or not. Well, I have to wait and see. Oh, and we put a fake crow on there. That lid bounces up and down. It'll make him wiggle, which should be interesting. I uh, got a few things done over here. I got a pile of stuff there for Sue, and she's got to get the uh, treasure chest in. But we got him all dialed in and hooked up to air. And then we got the sheet ghost back there in the back just to fill a hole. Uh, Sue right now is taking a break. Uh, she's been out here a only a little bit today. She's feeling kind of shaky, so she's taking it easy today. Which is what I want her to do. <laughs> Can't have her afford to have her down when we're open. Makes it a lot harder trying to run this place by yourself. <laughs> we need her, so we're babying her a bit and let her rest and take a nap. But anyway, that's pretty much what we've gotten done. There's some uh, other items have been dropped off and other displays and stuff. Right now, I'm getting ready to head over to the gypsy display. Uh, we'll see what we've got in there. And then we have the chain hall and the uh, mirror display in the photo hallway that needs to be done. So we're going to head over into that neck of the woods and see what type of trouble we can get into. Chain haul is now done. Uh, this was a fun one to do. I always enjoy doing the chain for some reason. But we got plenty of chains up. People are going to have to push their way through. And I had some extra, so I even did that on the display. And people can push aside to see what's inside and what have you. And I put one of our new lights up there. They'll be flickering in the background. And we head on in to the sewer room. And there'll be a curtain right, right there. As they push through that last one, they'll hit a curtain. So, that's not bad. And we got zombie bait here in the corner. I'm not sure what we're going to do in the rest of this yet. I haven't really gotten that far. I don't know. I just might leave it like that and then have them go around the corner and go boom. But, uh, 
Anyway, uh, that leaves a little mirror display to do, and there's only a couple of things to do in there. I got a tablecloth, a curtain, and a fountain to set up. So, I don't know if we're going to do that now or after dinner. I'm not sure where we're going right now. Well, I was coming out to do the uh, mirror display and found another tub sitting in here in the water room, and it was all my floating stuff for the ponds. That was all of a five-second thing, just putting it in the ponds. So that is done. Now it's two, two tubs today done, or two more tubs done, chain haul on that one. And then we got the mirror display done. We got the uh, table with its tablecloth on there, and Suanne will probably redo it. She's never satisfied with the way I do it. And we got the curtain around the mirror and the fountain set up. So we made progress. Now I'm not sure what we're doing next. So, let's find out. End of the day wrap up. <laughs> uh, we are done for the day. It is 8.30. I've been out here to about 9.30, 10 o'clock. So, I'm quitting about an hour or two early. And I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> Semi. Uh, with that reporter from the paper coming out tomorrow. The uh, I've got two other main areas I can work on right now. Uh, the photo op, I've got to get the projector screen, the projector box, uh, the fogger tubing, the carriage lights, that sort of thing put in out there. And then I need to get the uh, all the uh, water pumps and water blasters and stuff installed in the uh, water room. Uh, those are two big projects that really don't take all that long, usually. Uh, with a reporter following me around asking questions and stuff, and it might take all day. Uh, but I'm going to save that for uh, the reporter. She wants to catch me setting things up. And watching me up on a ladder running wiring is uh, all they're going to get is a shot of my ass up on the ladder. I don't think anybody wants to see picture after picture of me on a ladder. <laughs> so I'm trying to stick away from that. Uh, we did get the pirate done today, or I got my work done in the pirate. Uh, Swan's going to get out tomorrow and get uh, some more work done in that. Uh, went over and checked Gypsy. There wasn't all that much other than moving one of the mannequins, and Swan did come out and help me with that toward the uh, end of it. Chain haul is totally done. I think I got your footage of the chain haul. Uh, we put the uh, floater stuff in the ponds and got the mirror display done which were both quick. Uh, after that, we went downstairs and got some more tubs out. And Morgan started carrying out speakers. Uh, we've still got about eight or nine more speakers downstairs to bring out. And we've got two tubs. Two basic regular Halloween tub tubs. One has my original LED lighting in it. And the other one has control boards in it. Oh no, I take that back. Control boards are on my workbench. They were in with the pneumatic stuff. And I've had that one out here already. But the other one is the recorder. Uh, video recorder. Kaylee, what are you eating? Huh? What do you got? You don't want to eat that. That's okay. Hold on a sec. Little lamp had a piece of torn cloth and she was sitting there having fun with it. Knowing her, she would have swallowed it, and we would have had a very weird turd come out tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, let's see, where were we? Oh, yeah, the two tubs downstairs. The original, L one tub of uh, original LED lighting and uh, the box, or the tub that has all the all eight projectors and all their speakers and all their hoo-ha-ha -ha in it. Those I'm leaving downstairs for now. I need to get these tubs done, and then we need to get the AC ran. Oh, and I did get my power station out here. Uh, I know after the reporter leaves, I do have one piece of low voltage I am definitely running, and that is for the lighted sign out front so we can get it lit up. Uh, so if I'm going to do that, I might as well just wire the whole front end uh, of the haunt. So we'll probably get that done tomorrow too. So, 
But uh, I know tomorrow morning it's going to be prep work. I got to get the frame for the uh, screen that goes in the photo op in and the stake and bracket for the video projector made and put out there. Get all the miscellaneous parts for the project, get that out there. And then do the same thing for the water room. Uh, I've got to get the water blasters out there as well as the one over in the clown area and then get all the water pumps and hoses and everything else over there and then I do have to run the airlines for those water blasters in the water room so we'll probably do that tomorrow before the reporter gets here and then that stuff's all ready to go and I can just jump in and do it I really don't want to be towing them through my shop in the backyard and down the side of the house and I rather have everything out here and ready to go uh, if I get all caught up and they're not here yet, we'll start sorting through the uh, cases here and uh, start, you know, putting stuff out and what have you here and there and just kind of work on that. But, uh, you know, that, that's why I've got on the docket for tomorrow. So tomorrow's probably going to be a very weird build day vlog, just to let you guys know. But uh, other than that, I'm going to call it quits. I'm going to go in and try to get to bed before midnight. I say that every night and every night. A couple times I've done it. I made it to bed by 11.30. <laughs> but uh, anyway, see if I can get to bed early tonight. That way I can get up early in the morning. Stay spooky. Stay toxic.